Okay, good afternoon guys. Just want to give you guys a quick update um, on a product I am going to be reviewing or coming back to, but I wanted to just put a quick kind of unboxing video of this product. Now this is a unique product to this channel. Uh, it's not a smart home tech item. It's not some big bold watch or big blinged out jewelry. It's not a car. It's not audio related. Uh, this is more of a cosmetic item, if I'm saying it correctly. Maybe I'm not. But uh, it's an item uh, that's more of, uh, well, let me go ahead and show you. This is the device right here. Any ideas, folks? So it's not a razor. So what this is, this is a product by a company called Weddy. And this is a laser hair removal product. And now, um, this is the kind of thing that I wanted to come back. I want to do just a quick unboxing, show you guys what you get. And then I want to just kind of tell you guys... Uh, my first experience using this and the only way to really tell is if about a product like this is it's not something I can review and then tell you guys oh yeah I think you guys should get it this is a, it's not like a watch or a ju it's jewelry that you get instant gratification we don't know if this works yet uh, so the company sent this to me the other day um, it's laser hair removal and for a guy like myself who is um, you know I'm as I've gotten a little bit older, I'm not quite as hairy, <laughs> but I have a lot of chest hair and a lot of stomach hair, uh, a little bit of back hair. Sorry, we're being honest here, folks, uh, and I always pride myself on being honest with you folks. Uh, so I'm a big time shaver. You know, I always shave. Obviously, I have a, I have a little bit of stubble. Um, it's funny. It's like the hairy, like I'm a pretty hairy dude compared to a lot of like my friends like that. And, you know, like you think I would have more on the top of my head. Uh, fortunately, I have what I have, but it's like, dude, like, you see some guys with these big, bold, huge head of hair. If I, like, it's just so weird to me how you just can't have the most amazing head of hair, which if you've, again, we're, no secrets here. You guys know I'm constantly, I've done a few videos showing you guys how, what I use uh, to try to maximize uh, the look of my hair. I have thinning hair, of course, uh, which fortunately it hasn't gotten any worse. And I do some things to give the illusion that I have more than I have. And I have very fine hair. So it is really strange. My hair on my head is so like fine. Forget about the fact that at like most men, as we get older, you know, hair thins for the most part, a lot of men. Uh, and luckily at my age, I still have what I have. I'm thankful. Don't get me wrong, but it'd be great to have these big, beautiful, bold head of hair as you see all over Instagram and, you know, these models with this stuff. But we all have things that we're, you know, pluses and minuses, and we got to be happy with what we have and make the best of it. That's why I love products like this. I love sharing uh, hair care products and stuff with you guys, because anything you can get whether it be a watch, a ring, a jacket, uh, whatever you can do to make yourself feel good about yourself, you're gonna project that into the world. You're going to, uh, people are gonna, you're gonna light up a room. And there's nothing sadder than seeing somebody unhappy. And I think that we all, um, you know, deserve to be happy and feel good about ourselves, uh, no matter what, you know, no matter what's going on in our life, no matter what we have, no matter what we've been blessed with or not blessed with, there's always things we can do to, to try to be the best version of ourselves. And so um, I've been, you know, I shave my arms, of course. Um, I shave my neck, and I always like to keep my hair high and tight, clean, you know, and, and um, shorter on the sides. It helps to give the illusion you have more on top. That's a whole different story. Check out my video I did on hair care products. I had some things I use uh, if you do suffer from things like that. But uh, one thing, I don't never really like body hair. Um, for me, I've been shaving my chest and stomach for so long. Probably started from uh, when I honestly, you know, I used to have like really hairy legs. Now as I've gotten older, they're not quite as hairy as they used to be, but I was so selfish, self-conscious about it growing up as a young guy in high school. Like my legs were hairier than most dudes, like most adults. And so, you know, as I got older and I finally just clipped them, uh, it made me feel better about wearing shorts and stuff like that. Now, as we get older, who gives a shit, right? But at that time, you know, it, it was kind of a big deal to me. And I was into bodybuilding uh, then. Uh, it was like a huge part of my life. I mean, it's all I wanted to do was be big and like these guys you see in the, in the muscle magazines. It's just not in my genetics to be huge. And I'm not willing to put in that much work. I'm just happy to be, uh, look as good as I, you know, to look good enough for me to feel good about myself and to, uh, you know, have it be as maintenance free as possible, right? Uh, so anyway, you know, I, I used to shave a lot. I still clip my body hair. Now I've done it so long. Uh, my chest and stomach is, it, uh, have always been pretty hairy. Um, <laughs> but um, you can call me like an Italian Greek god, which I'm, I'm not Italian or Greek god. Or, that statement didn't make any sense. But uh, 
Anyway, point being, um, now when I have hair, it like it itches all the time. So I have to constantly shave. Um, so something like this, this is laser hair removal. Now you pay a lot of money to go to an actual, um, I guess, I don't know if it's called a salon or you go to a professional and have this done. Um, it's quite a process. It's not something, something that you just simply, you know, um, I've seen, I looked at a couple of YouTube videos of guys who want to actually do their whole face. I don't recommend doing that. Again, consult your doctor before you use anything like this. Um, I'm just sharing my story with you guys on this product and I'm gonna let you know what kind of results I get from it. So what it is is you get basically uh, pretty straightforward. You get the box, as you can see. They do give you a, uh, a razor, which I think is kind of silly. Honestly, personal opinion there. I mean, uh, they give you these slick folding sunglasses, right? Which fold up, which is actually uh, kind of interesting. Reminds me of a pair I had back in the 80s. Um, I'll probably use these actually like out in public because <laughs> they're not that bad. They're like more like your Tom Cruise style. But the idea in these is that if you are gonna use this device, there's two different, um, it's pretty bright. So how it works is you plug it in, you set your power level by pressing the button, uh, there's a cooling fan that comes on and you press this against the area of hair to be treated. Now, from what I read in the instructions, you are supposed to shave the area first. I did not do that because I wanted to see if anything happens. Uh, so they say that if you don't shave the area first, you could actually melt the hair to the lens and that you have to clean that. You could, you could damage the lens on this. Uh, what this has is basically like a flash and you basically put this on your skin. There is a sort of a sensor on the front of this thing and when you touch your skin, it goes off and then it recharges. And what you do is you work in a grid pattern uh, on the affected, for the affected area or for the area you want to affect basically. And what it does, that light's supposed to get absorbed into the hair and the hair is supposed to fall out. Now you're supposed to do multiple treatments. Um, I started doing this the other day and rather than do a whole area, all I did was my wrist around my watch where I constantly shave uh, because the hair, if I have any hair there, it gets kind of, it gets pinched into my watch and it hurts. So I'm always keeping that pretty smooth. Uh, so I'd like to get rid of the hair altogether there. So I use this on my wrist and of course my top of my hand uh, the other day. Now I've used it twice already at the max setting. Uh, you're supposed to use it once a week. Um, I wanted to do a test spot to see if I had any kind of irritations. They recommend you give it 24 hours, make sure you don't have any kind of burning, sensitivity, anything like that. I didn't experience any side effects. I went and used it again today. I used it on a few spots around my stomach um, or, or like kind of underneath my chest only in an area where if there's anything that's gonna happen, it's gonna be very noticeable, which you'll see a patch of just smooth, smooth, silky skin. So we're gonna find out if this thing actually works. Right now, after one use, nothing, no difference. I'm not sure if it takes a couple weeks to have something happen. I'm gonna come back and go through, uh, I think they recommend like 12 weeks. I have to reread the instruction again. I just wanted to share with you guys, let you guys know, if you have heard of this product or you've been considering this product, I am gonna give you guys a real life test on this. And then, like I said, normally when I review a product, it's kind of an instant unboxing, show and tell sort of thing. And they generally, you know, I mean like, bracelet, like I said, a watch bracelet, it's gonna work you're not gonna have any kind of issues, but you know, you it, it does what it says it does. It's for it's meant for enjoyment. This serves a purpose. So I wanna make sure that this device, before I start recommending it and having you guys go buy it, if it's something you wanna, you know, if you wanna remove your hair with a laser or, uh, you know, um, I think it's laser. Hair removal laser, yeah. Which is strange because it's more of a, it's more of a flash that goes off. Uh, so I'm not sure some of the videos I saw when they talk about laser hair removal, it is something similar to this. Um, again, I don't know how long this takes to work. The only thing we can really do is put it to the test and I'm, again, sharing it with you guys. We'll put it to the test and see what kind of results I get, if any. It does come with two different heads. One is for the hair removal. The other is for rejuvenation. So you can use this on sensitive areas. I guess what happens is using this laser technology, it kind of triggers your skin to rejuvenate. Um, I'm very skeptical of things that are on my face. Uh, you know, I don't want to damage the goods here, you know what I mean? So uh, if, you know, you use something on your arm, you know, and I get a little irritation, that will go away. Uh, at least, you know, I, I hope. Uh, but something on your face, you know, you want to be careful. So I might try 
the rejuvenation lens on this, um, maybe around the side of my neck or maybe in sensitive skin around the lower portion of the neck. In case I have any kind of effects, um, it's not really noticeable. Um, so stay tuned for that. I just want to share that with you guys. Um, they call it rejuvenation, rejuvenation lens, I think. Uh, intense pulse light, 400,000 flashes. Uh, it says 3.1 centimeter spot size, five intensity levels, touch skin and auto flash, corded use. So a little bit of a language barrier on that there. It seems like that's, you know, I've said it a few times uh, in my videos when you see stuff on Amazon that does come from China. I believe this did come from China. Um, you know, it's always a little bit of that language barrier. There are certain types of skin this is not intended for. Um, if you have, if you're, a brother, you're black or darker, uh, medium skin, dark brown or black skin, it's not safe for, probably because that um, energy gets absorbed by the skin and you want the hair to absorb that light. Uh, you can use it on white, ivory, beige, and light brown skin. Hair, I believe it was all different hair types uh, with the exception of like light hair. So uh, my hair is pretty dark, uh, kind of black to dark brown on my most of my body, my arms, my hair. Uh, my head. Uh, so we'll see what happens. So that's about it. You get the sunglasses, you get a razor, you get two different um, heads on this thing. One for hair removal, the other for, I guess, skin rejuvenation and power supply. So we'll just have to find out if it works or not. Stay tuned for more. I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys have this and have any experience, drop a comment. Share, you know, not Like I said, knowledge is power. It's great to be able to uh, have other people's, I guess, opinions of products. Uh, my opinion is not the only one that matters. So Although sometimes I like to pretend it does. But uh, yeah, definitely check it out, all joking aside. Uh, click the link, read more about it, educate yourself. Let me know if you have it, have used it. Let me know your results. And I will tell you my results. I'll come back in probably about three months and let you guys know if I've had uh, any kind of results, side effects, anything like that. So stay tuned, guys. Again, I want to do thank Weddy for the generosity in sponsoring the video and sending me this product. Uh, if it works, I'm pretty excited. My hair on my chest and stomach is really thick. So um, maybe areas, we'll see what works. You know, even if it works kind of around the back of my neck, like at the lower portion of my hairline, uh, maybe on the sides of my neck, on some of the, you know, the, uh, the areas of my back. If it works on that, then it's, it's worth it, you know. Uh, arms be fantastic. I don't know. I'm a little skeptical on the chest. This is pretty thick stuff I got going on here, guys. This is all man shit going on. So uh, I don't know. We'll stay tuned, guys. <laughs> all, all man shit while I'm talking about hair removal, right? <laughs> it's kind of contradicts itself. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for more, guys. Have a great day. Take care.